Now to a News Nation exclusive from the southern border where the tidal wave of illegal immigration has extended into some places you might not expect. We got a first-hand look at how the state's specialized tactical unit tracks down and arrests gotaways in Texas, migrants who cross illegally and escape border patrol. These brush teams work under the cover of night with the goal, they say, of stemming the surge of migrants into the Lone Star State. Correspondent Allie Bradley is live in Eagle Pass, Texas. And Allie, you got a ride along on one of these missions. Most people don't get to see this. Yeah, it was a wild thing to be a part of here, Elizabeth. And the people that are standing behind us here that are being processed by Border Patrol, those are the ones that are self-surrendering. Those are the ones who want to be caught. But this elite brush team is going after the individuals who are trying to remain undetected. So we're going out there, and it is not for the weak out there. Texas, it is very, very rough terrain. Everything has thorns. We had cactus uh, thorns stuck all throughout our clothing and all along our legs and everywhere because... That is what it's like out there, and that is what the DPS brush team is dealing with and what they are going through every single day under the cover of night. Take a look. DPS elite brush team are blacked out. No lights, no reflectors, just pure darkness. They hit the road and on foot using flashlights and drones. The thorny terrain no match for the stealthy squad on a mission to find those who don't want to be found. And just like that, they are. This young illegal immigrant discovered hiding in the shoulder tall brush. Hola, como estas? Soy un periodista, me llamo Ali. He tells me his name is Vilda and he's 22 years old. His journey started in Honduras and ended here last night. News Nation cameras were rolling this rainy night as eight illegal immigrants were arrested for criminal trespass on a private ranch. Mucho gusto, Ali. Two of the men who said they were from Honduras told us they tried to go the legal route, but say after a month of failure, they believe sneaking in was their only option. But they now face state charges for criminal trespass. Their hopes at asylum down the road dashed by their impending criminal record. The difference the work that we're doing here on these ranches are these are individuals that are evading capture. They're trying to go undetected, and in that case, they get picked up by human smugglers. We're trying to prevent that. Um, what you're seeing right now, what you saw on these ranches, are illegal immigrants that are here for economic reasons. And the most part, the, the majority that we've come across are here for economic reasons. They want a better life, we understand that, but of course, that does not meet the current asylum process. So that's what we're trying to prevent. Lieutenant Oliveira says Operation Lone Star is critical to ease an overcrowded and overwhelmed federal immigration effort. It's important because now, if we're not actually making these arrests, and turn them over to Border Patrol. Well, it's an ongoing cycle now where they get deported back and then they're back doing it again the same day. So now we can actually try to put a stop to that by having some type of deterrence. What do you got over there? Operation Lone Star has expanded several times over the last two years to accommodate the increasing number of people trying to evade law enforcement. My cameras were rolling back in 2021 when it all began. There were more than 600,000 known gotaways recorded last year, according to DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, marking more than 1.7 million under the current administration. But where the federal government has come up short, Texas has stepped in. We've made over 10,000 arrests for now just on criminal trespass. And you gotta, you got to keep in mind, too, that if we don't have these state resources patrolling these rural ranches, um, then these are potential gotaways. Okay, so Elizabeth, I mentioned there that Operation Lone Star has expanded several times to accommodate the ongoing influx here of illegal immigration. But an interesting thing here, Governor Greg Abbott still has yet to sign a bill into law that made it to his desk, SB4, that would actually allow local law enforcement to arrest these individuals, not for criminal trespass, but instead for crossing into the United States illegally. I am told he is poised to sign that sometime this month. All right. That's quite a night you spent with that uh, tactical unit, Allie. Uh, really incredible stuff. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.